Hello everyone, I am Nyx and welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we are playing some more Slime Rancher 2. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so in between episodes, I have actually done quite a bit of stuff. Uh, as you may see by, by the peculiar slimes over there and over here. I will walk you all through it, so don't worry. Um, but first of all, I have basically got us a whole, whole bunch of money. Uh, because we wanted to unlock that new area over there to make a little silo for the fire slime. So before I walk you through all of the new stuff that I've done, uh, let's quickly go and get this cool upgrade. So yeah, we were going to unlock the gully. But yeah, <laughs> I got quite a bit of money now. Ooh, this is pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure this area actually leads to another area. Oh my god, it's outside? Oh! I was fully expecting it to be like a cave. Because on the map, <laughs> oh, that one's the cave. Okay, so I am happy I've unlocked this area, but I kind of wanted the incinerator to be in a cave. So I might also <laughs> unlock this one over here as well. We have the money, it's fine. Okay, so we've now unlocked this area out here, which is very, very nice. I need to work out what I want to fill them with. Um, and there's an area down here, which I believe is going to be the dockyard, similar to the previous episode. Uh, not episode, sorry. <laughs> similar to the previous game. I wonder if there's anything up, up there. There we go, let's go chat with this bee. Um, I have the drones rebuild the conservatory exactly as it was before. Wait, it got... Um, Demolished? Oh, also it's not the ranch anymore, it's the conservatory. Okay. I was so happy to see it standing there again. It's glass filtering the beautiful daylight of this magical place. When it was done, for a moment... Uh, when it was done, for a moment I almost thought things were back to normal. I thought maybe I would just walk inside and start again like nothing had happened. And though I know that's not the case, it was still nice to finally be home again. See, I find it interesting how many times they've said that this place is meant to be weird and creepy like obviously something has happened to the ranch because it's they've had to rebuild it and something happened but what happened hopefully we get to find that out because it'd be quite cool to get the lore of this place right and everyone keeps saying how mysterious it is and the only mysterious thing i've experienced so far is it raining slimes <laughs> um so out of episode i basically Re I, I re-merged everything and I will insert a little clip here, <laughs> a little clip of me doing it all here. Apparently my recording didn't work so I'm going to give you a brief description over here. So this is what the ranch looked like beforehand and this is what it looks like now. As you can see the cotton and the tabby slimes are exactly the same but there has been quite a bit of change to everything else. As you can see, I've put the silo to where I originally wanted it. I also moved around the fruits and veggies, upgraded the chickens to have an elderly rooster collector, and gave them nutrient soil and a sprinkler. Now to the slimes. So up here, we of course have our cotton and tabby slimes, which are exactly the same. And I decided that I did in fact want to have a phosphor slime in our ranch. So I added the phosphor and thought that having the two flying slimes together would be a really nice match. Plus they both eat fruit. So I'm gonna get a pomegranates for them. Down here we have our much more aggressive slimes, so they both have been upgraded to have the music box. I thought it'd be a cool idea to mix the lava and the watery slimes together, so we have them, and they both eat meat, so I'm gonna save up to get either the sea hen or the briar hen for them, and then I was like, we might as well put the rocky slimes together as well. So they are together, and they have got, I think they're eating the heartbeats at the moment. Here is my little annotations for while I was planning it, so if you can make any sense of that, then here you go. So yeah, that's basically all I've done around the ranch, is I've rejigged a couple things and made it a little bit more efficient. And I'm pretty sure I actually have the heartbeat here. So I might quickly start growing the heartbeat now, thinking about it, because I'm pretty sure the heartbeat is, um, yeah, the rocky slime's favorite. Oh, I also, also, I found a lucky slime. I'll like import this little bit here. Has been hotels playing in the background, but trust me, I was screaming. I found three, I believe, while out of episode, and I managed to pop one of them. Okay, yeah, so if we quickly work out how to change what's growing, because you, we don't want to demolish the plot. Ah, remove crops, there we go. It's only 50, so that's fine. And then if we start going the heartbeat here instead, That'll be for them up there, and I might as well give them the rest, right? You guys, you guys, I'll pop it into the slow feeder. 
for me. They'll be happy at least for a little while. Okay, so let's go and unlock the slightly stonier area. That was over here. Ooh, was there mushrooms? I think it was this one. Let me double check. Yes. Let's quickly unlock this one. The den. Alrighty. And I want to make an incinerator for these little guys. The little guys. The little fire slimes. Ooh, we have a little fairy. Oh, that is so pretty. Fairy lights, mushrooms. Whoa. <gasps> this place is adorable. Oh, I love it. Oh, I so love it. <laughs> oh my god, you are a loopy baby. Um, so for context, I gave him a uh, dental stick. <laughs> this is what I gave him. Isn't it? Okay, so, sorry about that. He has now gone downstairs to pee. Uh, yeah, let's check on the map. There's only four spots in here. And I want the incinerator guy to be near the water slimes, but I think the water slimes are going to end up being over there. Uh, well, there's a little podium there. That would have been fun. You know what? Should we just unlock them all? Do I have enough money? We don't have enough money! No! archway yeah i think we're gonna plop him up there yeah yeah he's going up there on this little mantelpiece you can see everything plus it's surrounded by um hopefully we have enough yes we do uh it's surrounded by like stones if anything gets over the edge it won't burn and look this is our little incinerator so i might actually need to get edges and astro yes we need to be able to collect the ash of the incinerator food at this base uh <laughs> It was 500? Okay. Yeah, uh, I will be back when we have enough money. Okay, so I have 100% got enough now. And while I was doing I realized that in the previous game, they basically had like um, drones that used to collect plots and feed your slimes for you. And I wonder if you can get them in the new game, because I think that would be a really useful thing to get. Okay, so we now have a little tray to catch our ash in. And if we put our pogo fruits in, it kind of makes a little level of tray. Tray? Ash. And now we can put in a lovely little fire slimes. And they can just chill in here. And they basically, like, eat... They just... Yeah, they they eat the ash. See? I'm very happy. We've now unlocked all the areas bar the one down there. So I think we'll have to do that at some point. Um, but currently, I believe our next thing we need to do is probably have a look at the comm station. Because we've had so many new messages since I last checked. So, yeah, let's, let's go down here and have a little chit-chat. Oh my god, we've got a new person. So we've got Ogden... Ortiz, Machi Miles, and Victor. Let's start with good old Victor. Beatrix, I've done it! I believe I've cracked the super mysterious code that was sent to me. It, it was astoundingly complex. I believe that AI created this code displays... Oh, that's the AI that created this code. Displays a comparable intellect to my own. So, very advanced. Almost alien. Oh, you're probably wondering what it said. Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien perhaps even alien AI sent a message that says, hello. Not much, <laughs> but, it, but the pleasantries count for something. More importantly though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It, um, it's almost as though this mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting. Um, I haven't decrypted it yet, but the code is considerably more complex. This should be fun. Well, back to work as ever. So if there's a guy watching Victor, sending him weird messages? Okay. Uh, Mochi! Hi B! 
Those drones you've been finding all over the island, there's something weird about them. Hmm? Hey, I got <laughs> I got eyes in the sky and I'm gonna use them. I'm also readying a team of drones to head over there and check check things out in a more hands-on fashion. I di but I digress. Wait, so she's gonna send a bunch of drones over to the island? Anyway, that drone, drone seems super advanced, like almost alien. Why are these guys continuing to talk about aliens? Um, and so I thought, okay, there are some aliens there checking out Rainbow Island, just like you. But no, I don't think so, because it looks lot, uh, because it looks a lot like the drones we use, but much more familiar to me. Almost like it's giving me deja vu. It's kind of creepy. Hey, don't be scared. It's probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws are looking for humans to capture or eat or both. Okay. <laughs> See, I like mod shoes. <laughs> Later B. I like mod shoes. She's pretty cool. So more aliens and now we've got Ogden Otters. Ah, he looks like a friendly little potato. Hola Beatrix, are you there? It's me, Ogden Otters. I hear you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets, danger, and maybe a few succulent fruits for veggies that the world has never even seen before. You know, I had to ask, ever since you got me a steady supply of... Kookadoba? Kookadoba? Fruits, I've been reaching for an even greater culinary height with a far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating kookadooba pie, kookadooba souffle, kookadooba pudding, kookadooba corn can, kookadooba 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 corn, kook. I've said kook. I've said that word for many times. I'm running out of ideas and willpower. Poor guy, he's kookabookered out. So if you see something, please tell me all about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know about all the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious and worth our care and respect. So stay hydrated out there. Say there, stay hydrated out there. You do too. Uh, all that adventuring will work up a sweat. So take this water tap. Oh, a portable water tap. That's pretty cool. So I guess that's like once we've made our, t our water squirty thing, it's a portable one so we can have it wherever. That's pretty cool. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Okay, so that's all of our messages. And since they were talking about making the portable water tap, I have something that I would like... Oh, hello. That I'd like to admit. When I was playing out of episode... I may have made a couple discoveries. One that I'm an absolute freaking dumbass. <laughs> so, um, if we go down to the refinery, uh, I didn't, I didn't do it, but I knew, I remembered something. I realized something. Um, you will see that they speak about deep brine. Oh, not that one. They speak about deep brine. There we go. Deep brine here, and primordial oil, and I think they have. A silky sand or something like that as well. Silky sand. Yeah, so I um, was stupid and I now know how to get them. And they're super easy to get. You basically, there are like these fountainy things and you just suck them up and that's it. So um, that means we can quite easily get this. Uh, wait, no, we can very. Oh, we can get dash boots now. Okay, we can easily get dash boots. We can easily get a jetpack. Um, and the water tank we can also easily get. So we are going to very, very quickly run around. I'm just going to get the dash boots, the jetpack, and the water tank because we are in great need of those. We definitely want to make a home portal. So we need 10 more cotton and 10 more deep brine. Okay, so I am going to go on a little mission and grab all that stuff. So I've got most of the plots now, 
bar five boom slimes uh, because we didn't have enough of them. So I'm gonna let them restore and I haven't got any of the deep brine yet, but I believe we can still make a couple upgrades. Yes, so we can make the jetpack, which I'm 100% gonna get. Woohoo! So we now have a jetpack, right? Yes! Oh my god, we can fly. Oh my gosh, we can fly. All right, so I am going to go and grab the deep brine. Oh, actually, I might be able to get some more some more boom plots. Is that five there? One. Oh, one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yes, let's go and get some of that deep, deep brine. But yeah, so I didn't realize it, but these things here, I thought they were water fountains, but no. It's deep brine. <laughs> so we now have that. Run and grab the rest of them because I think we need 20. So it may take a little while to get them all. Okay, so, oh, I need one more and I just spotted over there. Okay, so let's go up and around here. Uh, I do apologize that the majority of this episode is me basically just getting resources and everything. Uh, it wasn't planning on being like that, but I guess that's just kind of how it's fallen. Um, but we will do a lot more adventuring next episode. Don't, don't you worry, okay. Oh, well, there's some here anyway. <laughs> but apparently, I could have just gone over there. Hey ho, it all is fine. I now have got enough. And so when we get back home, that should be enough uh, to make everything that we're planning on making. Although I'm not sure I've got enough money. So I may have to um, get a couple of plots on the way as well. So let's pop them all in there. So they're now at the refinery. You know what, we'll put the jelly sim in there as well. I don't know why I didn't, to be honest. And yes, okay, so we can now make, we can make the yellow home portal. Uh, so let's make that. Uh, fabricate this gadget. Yes. Yes, please. So we now have a home portal, perfect. And upgrades, can I not afford them? Oh, I've got that already. Uh, what else was it? It was, yeah, I can't afford them. I need 800, I need 900 coins, okay. I'll be back with 900 coins. Okay, so we, we've definitely got enough now. I just went around selling all the um, all the slimes and everything that we've got upstairs. And I didn't realize quite how many batty slimes we had. We had like 40 of them. So yeah, we now have a water tank. Oh my God. And dash boots. So now, oh yeah, lava dust. Now we are fully, fully kitted out. Which I am really, really happy about. So we can now collect water. So we now have R for for water, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we have we can fly. And I'm not sure what the dash boots do because we can already dash, can't we? Is this not dashing? Can we like double dash? How does one dash? Reducing the cost of sprinting even further. Okay. Oh, okay. So it literally just makes you be able to go zoom. Okay, that is pretty cool. Okay, so shall we run over and? Put our new teleporter down. Yeah, let's go over to Ember Valley and plop down the teleporter. And then next episode, we can go straight away and go into the new area, which I think will be awesome. Actually, no, you know what we'll do? So we probably will plop down the teleporter, but we've also, we can fly now. So we can go up there. Oh yeah, so we'll go, we'll go up here, plop the teleporter down there, go round up, and through that way yes okay let's do that yeah so in the last episode i jumped over there um but i meant to go over that way i'm pretty sure right yes i was meant to go over there so if we float over this way if we like try to not touch the ground can we do it without touching the ground actually i don't know i doubt we can because we need to go down through the bottom of it don't we so we need to go down through here Ooh. oh we could go up here i guess <laughs> there are a couple angries but i mean why not and then we're gonna go up through here all right, let's 
let's see what this place has to offer. This is uh oh, angry. So what? Is this a? This is another teleporter. Well, that's a teleporter pad anyway. Can you leave me alone, please? Feral slimes. Oh yeah, they are just hungry. Uh, yeah, this is a teleporter, but one that hasn't been unlocked yet, right? Is that all that's up here? That is seriously cool, though. Yeah, is that... No, this is new! Ooh! Ah, oh, this is so cool. I mean, there's nothing particularly new up here, I don't think. I think it's basically just, like, an extension. I kind of want to go up there, see if there's anything cool up by those trees. So I'll wait for my energy to regen. Uh, yeah, let's go up here. Oh, having a jetpack makes your life so much easier. <laughs> oh my god! If I was good at using it anyway, if I actually was able to use the jetpack properly, then it would make my life so much easier. Okay, let's ploop up here. Um, this is pretty cool. Is there anything? Can we get any higher? Oh, 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 we did it! Okay, okay, let's get a little bit more energy. Oh wait, no, we didn't, we didn't even need the boost pack. I think we will for this bit though. Oh, look at that, that's a pretty statue! Oh, that's adorable! Oh, and we got a pod as well. What are we gonna get this time? A boom box! Carry the tunes of the far, far range wherever you go. As long as where you go includes this boom box. Wait, so music from the last game? Oh, that's so cool! Okay, well, on that positive, cheery note with a beautiful view, uh, I'm gonna end off the episode. So, thank you very, very much for watching. I'm sorry this video was basically just consisted of me, like, speeding around. We'll start the next episode at the portal thing, and we'll go straight into the Ember Valley. So, yes, thank you for watching. Please give a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe as well so you can see more content. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode.